few months ago, everybody voted for which Taco Bell item they wanted to bring back. Everyone picked the Enchirito, and then Taco Bell screwed us. Of course they did. Two days. Two days they brought it back, and they didn't make it right. Yeah, sounds about right. So, uh, what was the other item that was going up against? The Double Decker Taco, right there. That thing is so ridiculously easy, it's even easier to make than the Enchirito. Um, and I'll show you how to do it. So uh, all you gotta do is uh, stick around and uh, I'll show you. But uh, let's get started. To make our seasoned ground beef, we're gonna start with a pound of 80-20 ground beef right here. Put it in your pan, start browning it up, break it up as uh, small as it can reasonably. You're just trying to cook the pink out of it at this point. As soon as it's there, you're gonna drain this, uh, get the grease out of it because nobody likes the grease, come on. So uh, I like to uh, spoon this off into a bowl, stick it in the freezer, and then throw it in the trash. It's the easiest way to get rid of grease, it really is. All right, once that's done, we have to go to the next step, which is to put this in the food processor. The secret to great Taco Bell meat, well, uh, if their meat is great, is that the, it's really, really fine. So by putting it in the food processor, it gives it the right texture. It also opens up the meat for this next part, which is adding the seasoning. I'm using a packet of the McCormick's Original Taco Seasoning. It's very close to their uh, their seasoning as well. Uh, but they, they do sell packets of their uh, Taco Bell Original Sauce, uh, the seasoning packets. You can get that. Uh, I pick them up at Walmart when I'm there. Uh, but yeah, just uh, cook that to the directions on there. Get it simmering in the pan. Add the meat from the food processor back in this. Incorporate it really, really well. Because you've made this very fine, it soaks up completely. And as soon as that's done, you're ready to make some tacos. In order to make the double-decker tacos, you have to have two tortillas. One corn, one flour. The corn one is crispy. The flour one is soft. I uh, fried up a uh, corn tortilla myself uh, as I was uh, frying things up uh, in the deep fryer with the special tongs and the whole thing. And it, you know what? And I get, no, it's not crispy enough. Has to be crispy. So you're going to be buying some of these old El Paso or similar sort of shells. But I just got to show you this. This is hilarious. This used to be the normal size. Look at how small this is. Look at my finger compared to this. Look at how small that is. It's tiny. Tiny little thing. This is a regular size taco shell. There's kids tacos, adult tacos. I hate the world what it's become. Seriously, this is insane. All right, but if you, you can't serve these straight out of the box, they are stale as hell. That's because they've been in that box a very long time and that's where the good things go to die. So we're gonna heat them up and make them lovely. So give me half a second to reset here and I'll show you how to fix these things to make them really awesome. You probably already know this trick. Everybody knows this trick. This is silly, but stick around. Maybe, maybe you don't. So the secret is you have to put them in the oven first. They just have to uh, cook a little bit and uh, get the stale out of them. Now, because the world sucks, we're going to pull out, I don't know, half dozen or so completely smashed taco shells. Why? Okay. So, there we go. Hey, we got one. We got one, folks. That was worth the 10 bucks. So apparently this little piece of folded paper here, cardstock, is not the be all end all for uh, taco shell security and uh, integrity. Wow, I am shocked. Yeah, there's another broken one. And another broken one. And whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. We might get two out of this whole package. Oh, oh my goodness, we have two. We have two people. These will make chips or something else. I, I don't know what they'll do. Don't feed them to your dogs. They, that's not funny. Okay, we have three. Oh my God. Can I get, there's two left. What are the odds? Nope, 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 that one didn't make it. Okay, so out of the entire package, I got four. Four of 10 were not completely destroyed. Thanks, world. Put these in your oven for just a couple minutes, but 350, um, it takes like five minutes, six minutes, something like that tops. You overcook them, they get uh, funky. So keep an eye on them and uh, maybe three minutes, four minutes, something. You know, just don't kill them because you paid a ton of money for four freaking shells. 
I'm not mad. Not mad at all. It's good. Let's let's uh, get these in the oven. Double decker taco wasn't any harder to make than any other taco, except you had the addition of the extra tortilla and some beans to go on it. Otherwise, it's a taco supreme, which means sour cream, lettuce, tomato, cheese. There you go. If you want to get fancy, put some of their uh, chipotle baja sauce on there, or some avocado uh, cilantro cream sauce. Woo -hoo -hoo. Now you're getting fancy. Okay, don't get fancy on me, but get fancy on me. Come on. All right, so we have our beans here. These are nice and heated up. By the way, these are just canned beans because I'm not standing there for three days making beans. Um, I don't have one of those giant uh, pressure cooker things that, uh, you know, Taco Bell used. Uh, what I do have is a can opener, and canned beans can be really, really dry. If they are, what you do is you put a little bit of chicken stock in there, and if they're a little bland and everything, you put a, a pat of butter in there. Maybe like a tablespoon of butter melted in. Delicious beans! Dare I say maybe better? <laughs> Perhaps. Okay, so we put a dollop of our beans down here. It's not a ton, it's a dollop. So, there you go. There's that. Seriously, people, that's it. That's all you gotta do. It's all you gotta do right there is just a dollop of beans on this guy and a little bit of this right there it's a little that's a, that's a little more beans than the first one I'll be honest with you somebody's gonna be tooting tonight Amy I would never do that see double decker taco that is not hard simple get rid of beans because we don't need those anymore meat If you have one of those cool trough thingies they have, this was much, much easier. These uh, shells were in the oven for about four minutes. They get uh, nice because they're a little bit greasy and a little bit stale because they've been sitting in that package forever. So that just wakes them up, livens them up, and makes them delicious because you want it delicious. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? All right. You're going to see me do what I always do. If you've seen any of these other videos, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Okay, there's that one. And this one's con Baja because I love the Baja sauce. Put the Baja sauce on it. I showed you how to make the Baja sauce in one of these other videos. I will put a link to that uh, up here. It's simple. Uh, it's a piece of cake, it takes you like two minutes. You probably have this stuff. So uh, do that if you like Baja sauce. If you don't, don't do that. Okay, lettuce. They used shredded iceberg lettuce. This is green leaf lettuce because it tastes better. It has uh, texture and flavor, and it's actually uh, a little bit better for you. So that's what I'm using, because I'm not stuck to using the cheapest lettuce on the planet. If you like iceberg lettuce, I love iceberg lettuce. It's great. I just like this more. I know. Tomatoes. Lots and lots of tomatoes. Because, again, I'm not going to get fired for giving away too many tomatoes. Nope. Okay, there's that. Here is this, a little bit of cheese. <gasps> what? Boom, okay folks, that's a double decker taco right there. Congratulations, now you know how to make it. It's really, really simple. And probably why nobody voted for it, because it's too easy to make. You can just make it at home, nobody needed them to bring it back, because there you go. So thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me in the next one, because I've got plenty of other stuff to do. And you could tell me what that is by leaving me a comment and tell me what you want to see me cook. Uh, I love that. Please, if you have any other suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I love comments. Please give me some comments and tell me uh, what I'm doing wrong or right or anything else because I'm not making these videos to make me happy. I'm making them to make you happy. And if you don't like something about this, tell me what it is and I'll change it. But not too crazy because I'm still me. I can't change too much. It's like, hey, you want someone taller? There you go. You want someone shorter? I can't really do that. But uh, anything else? Leave me a comment. Love to hear. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.